Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. it can take you down to the hot labs. All right, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are short-handed. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. Facilities off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their... Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. 
He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. We're all in the same boat. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. Then I will... Uncertain, I furtively, for now, with forced cheer. Let's have a look. Regretfully.
Sorry, I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. What, what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. 